YouTube world, what's going on? Did you miss me? <laughs> Kyle Lewis, Kyle Lewis here, bringing you guys a new video for you today. I know that's been a little while, and I'll explain in a little bit why. Um, but I mentioned in uh, my last video I uploaded that I was going to share with you guys a poem skit. I didn't get a chance to do that on that uh, that Sunday um, because things just got away from me again. Um, but also, I've been going through some stuff, and I'll explain a little bit on uh, why that is and how I'm feeling and, you know, that stuff. Um, but uh, the title of the poem skit today is uh, Goodbyes Aren't Forever. And this is, it's not really a, it's not going to be a skit per se, just because I want to read this to you. Um I'm going to explain why I feel this is important to to understand and remember. Um, I don't know how, um, I don't know if you're new to my channel or if you're just tuning in or if you've been with me and you know what's been going on in my life. Um, I recently lost my uncle, Dwight, my uncle Dave. He um, passed away. Um, in April of this year, um, the day before Palm Sunday, um, which is going to make Easter even harder now, um, and a blessing too, um, but I lost my uncle recently, um, and then, uh, my dad passed away in 2015, um, and so the day that he passed away is tomorrow. Um, it'll be the, the, the 11th. Um, and so it's weird cause I was scrolling, scrolling. Um, I was looking through this book that my dad wrote, um, just of all his poems and stuff. Um, so I definitely do my best to, um, look for a reason and why I'm sharing this poem. Um, it, it's, it's like my dad is still talking to me, you know, and I know, I know that when he wrote this, this, he was a kid himself. So, um, it's just, it's nice to kind of, um, hear him in a sense, feel him in a sense, because I, when I read his words, it's just, it's just a good feeling, you know? Um, but anyways, tomorrow's going to be a really tough day for me. Um, I do work tomorrow, so, you know, that'll keep my mind off of everything. But that's not to say that um, I'm not going to be thinking about it. Because um, I miss my dad every single day, ever since he left. Ever since God t took him, took him home, um, I've missed him, and now I miss my uncle. Um, he was like a second dad to all of us, just really personable and, and selfless and just cool, fun too. And uh, so I know that I'm not the only one that's going through this stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm sure you've lost someone you love that you care about. Um, and something that I remember my grandma Lewis always saying to me um, when she had had cancer, um, she had said that, you know, goodbyes aren't forever. And uh, we'll be seeing each other again by the grace of God. Um, and so I believe that, um, goodbyes aren't forever. It's see you later. If you believe in God, if you believe in your family and, and, and you'll see them again. Um, but anyways, it's just a short little thing. Um, it's not long. 
definitely straight to the point. That's just the way he was, too. So, um, here you go. Goodbyes aren't forever. Although we have our home on high, it's hard to say goodbye to friends and especially family. There will be tears and even fears, but all must remember He's the one that brought us together here. He'll be the one to do it on Golden Streets up high. Exactly. What he's saying there is God, that, that Jesus made a place for us available to us when when he took our place on the cross when he rose again three days later on Easter he was going up to heaven to make us a place to where we could all live in harmony and peace and happiness but of course what comes to that is those who still live and are down here miss their family. And, and that's exactly what I've, I've been dealing with. Like I said, I miss my dad every single day. And it's crazy because a lot of people will state that I look like my dad, which I, 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 I appreciate. Um, but a lot of people say that I resemble my, my dad and both my uncles in my mannerisms and how I present myself, which is how I can truly honor my family is to live on, to remember what they taught me and how they were towards me and others and, and pray that one day, I will be reunited with my family. And, and that's the same thing for you. I know it's not easy believing in something that you can't see. But God is with you. He knows you, he hears you, and he answers. He answers to what what he believes is best for us. And even though my dad isn't here physically, I still talk to him like he is. I talk to Uncle David, who is in heaven now even though they don't necessarily talk back, I still feel their presence. I still feel like they're with me. Um, and that's what you can do too, is to live in their honor, because that's what they would want you to do. Those who you, you've lost, they are with you, they are part of you. Never, don't forget that. Now, um, the reason why I haven't been uploading, guys, is I wanted to be honest with you. I'm a little, I'm a little hurt in the sense that I started this channel, like when the pandemic was fresh and it, it had just started. I started it to not only simply clear my mind of what what's going on, how I feel about certain things, um, but to conversate so that you guys don't feel like you're alone and that we can talk about the same things. I 
started this channel in hopes that it could help um, all of us. And I feel like I could be reaching more. Um, and I'm trying to do everything I can for someone to just gravitate towards this channel. So it's not just topics, topic videos that I vlog about. I do fun things too. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope that you can see that I'm trying to be a good person. And I'm trying to share that in hopes that you too can be a good person to those you are around. But I feel like I feel like it could reach more people and more kids and more families. But it's not. And I'm just hoping, I'm just praying that whatever got you to check my channel out, I hope you would do the same thing and, and share why to a friend of yours or a family member of yours to come on here and check it out. I do fun videos, I do challenges, I do inspirational vlogs. That's that's how I go about this. Because my aim is to help, encourage, and inspire you guys. And this is something that I wish... I mean, I had when I was growing up, in a sense. Because I was able to talk to my dad and, and go to church. And, you know, talk to my family about things. And, but there's also things that I, I, I kept in and I didn't talk to people about. And so... That's where I feel like this channel can definitely um, strive. I know it's different from everybody else, and that's the intent. There's not a lot of vlogs like this or, or channels like this to where you can turn to and just feel good and, and feel important or even get some insight on how to approach something. That's how I go about this. And... Just the low likes and the low views and I'm just praying and hoping that whatever got you to subscribe to this channel, you would encourage someone else to do the same thing because of what you've experienced here. Um, and I know you can't force anybody. Obviously, they got to want the same thing on their own. Um, but I just feel like, I feel like I'm doing a lot. I'm, I'm expressing and sharing my heart to you guys. And it, it's not enough. It's not good enough. It's not what you want to see. It's not what you want to hear. So part of me wants to ask you guys what you want to see most. What, do you guys feel connected to more? What do you guys want me to upload on here? Do I want me to do less fun videos and do more serious? Or do you want me to do more fun videos, more challenges? Because I promise you, like, the idea of what I'm going at is if I'm not helping you, like, if you're not thinking about something or, like, if it's not thought-provoking to you, at the end of my video, then I haven't done what I've wanted to do on here. I want you to be able to, to move on to the next day feeling better by what you hear from me. Um, unless if it's something emotional. But I share those things too because we all go through them. And we all need that encouragement to, to be lifted, to be happy. And... So I just pray and hope that you guys would be willing to promote and share my channel um, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah, just let me know because um, I can do less fun videos and 
do more topics um, or, I mean, vice versa. Um, yeah, I've just been really bummed because I feel like I could be reaching more people. And the only way I can do that is if you guys help and promote my channel. And so I'd really appreciate it if you guys can do that. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, the next time I have off would be Sunday after today. So um, I'm thinking of doing a fun video. Um, I got to figure out how to do that. Because I do want to share it on here, but I might be using music. And I know YouTube doesn't promote, uh, you, you can't do that without being copyrighted. So um, I might post it on my TikTok and you can go check out on there um, what I did. But I will say this. Michelle and I have been talking about it. And now that it's becoming really hot here in Colorado. It's going to have something to do with water. And if you know, if you've seen my Nerf gun, it should give you a hint on what I'm, I'm, I'm looking to doing. Okay, I'll just tell you. We're going to have a water gun fight. Yeah, Michelle and I are going to have a water gun fight. Squirt gun fight. She's going to win, but um, we're going to do that. And I think it'll be fun. A little video. <laughs> so, yeah. Or, you know, maybe I can do another video that's that's quiet and doesn't have music um so you guys can see it on here too but anyways you guys are awesome remember to live the moment never fear change and keep the faith kai louie out